Hi everyone, I'm back with another tutorial and today I'll be making this card. So for this I'm using my uh, my favorite thing stamp, girl set and this is really cute. I really love this stamp and I've been using this for a long time now. With this I'm using this floral design from Woodsheds and my new ink pads from Tubby. I really like these ink pads. I got two colors of it. One is pink and the other one is orange and I'm going to use both of them for my this card initially i thought i'll be making only a uh, monochromic chromatic card so yeah a uh, monochrome card but uh, i really wanted to use this orange shade because orange is my favorite color and i couldn't resist myself so here it is so once i'm done with the stamping of my top layer of my card now i'm going to prepare the base so for this i've taken a pink card stock and i'm using this beautiful stencil from crafty scrappers i really love the design and i am sure this is going to look really good with my cards for this i'm using texture paste from finabear and as you can see i'm just uh, doing the texture on the corners of the card because I'm going to uh, put my top layer on it and I'm sure the center part is not going to be visible that's why I'm using this texture paste only on the borders of it I have let my texture paste to dry and now I am distressing my edges of the top layer card again with the pink shade of the tubby or uh, ink pads once I'm done with the shading, I wanted to color my pretty girl in orange shade and again, 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 I'm using um, orange shade from the same brand and this one is really looking nice. I love the shade and it's very easy to use with color pencils and uh, combine them with any other shades and any, any other color mediums. I'm just finishing off with my water brush to finish the look of my pretty lady and it's looking nice. Once I'm done with finishing off my layers, I am uh, using my foam tape to give it a backing. As you can see, I've already given one backing to my uh, top layer of the card just to give it a little more depth and below that again I'm using my 3D foam tape for backing. I usually tend to use Fevicol beneath my foam tapes because I have realized over the time that with these uh, foam tapes, they tend to come out after some time so it's just to be on a safer side i use fevicol beneath that after finishing the layering of my card now it's time to add a sentiment to it and i'm using another again the happy birthday sentiment from the same stamp set and I'm using plain white cardstock for it and I'm going to distress the edges with the um, same pink shade like I said I am going to make this as a monochromatic card with a little cheat of orange color in it but yes so my card is ready I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial please do subscribe to my channel do hit the like button and if you have any query feel free to comment below i'll be more than happy to help you thank you so much for watching